intricate detail, incredible design, all in a flavorful package. It's the Decorated Cakes Contest. I'm here at the Elwell Building on the State Fairgrounds where contestants are starting to bring in their sculpted and decorated cakes. I'm also here with Michelle Lindell, who is from Sweet to Eat Bakery and Cake Shop. Michelle, tell me what the process was like to build the five cakes that you guys entered. Uh, well, it's a lot of hard work and dedication and just trying to get stuff done in between orders and yeah, just having a lot of fun. How far in advance did you start working on some of these cakes? Um, we're allowed to start July 1st, so that's when we started. <laughs> we had to take all the time we could get for the ones that we did. Tell me about the cakes that you brought today. Uh, we brought a sculpted octopus and a garden, and we did a tiered Iowa State Fair, everything Iowa State Fair, um, cake pops, and then a, a cake with sugar art on it. Ava, tell me about the cake that you made today. So um, my cake is an ice cream cake. So it has candies and I, we used an ice cream cone and we wrapped a fondant, a um, styrofoam ball and fondant to make the ice cream cone. How did you come up with the idea? We were um, on the internet and we saw the idea so we decided to make it our own. Have you and your mom made or built cakes before? Yes. How did you guys get started doing this? Well, my mom um, got a job, so she did it. And then when I was born, I started making cakes when I was like four years old. Tell me about the crocodile cake that you made. I had to choose between making an alligator and a crocodile, and I thought crocodiles look cooler, so I went with a crocodile. It took me, I'm guessing, around 15 hours, maybe a little bit more, to get it all done throughout the week, so. When did you start working on it? I started working on it on Monday night, so I just spent the last week working on it. If I worked on it any longer than that, I would have been so nitpicky, so I just worked on it for a week. Well, there's still a lot of detail in that. I mean, all the scales are carved out in the eyes. Can you tell me the process of making a cake like that? Oh, man, I did lots of research because I wanted the eyes to look as realistic as possible. So I had to go into working with sugar and doing sugar art. So he actually has a layer of sugar on the outside. So his eye looks really realistic in 3D. Um, but the scales, I know I spent at least an hour, if not two, working just on the scales alone. The best of show is Sweet to Eat Bakery and Cake. Congratulations.